TV presenter Ant McPartlin has been in the public eye since the 1990s, with fans following his career from children's soap Biker Grove to SMTV and him as celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Back in the smash hits era, the star and his sidekick Declan Donnelly were lusted after by teens across the country, and Ant is said to have loved every minute of it. According to a profile in The Independent, the Randy hooked up with women everywhere from, golf courses, nightclub lavatories, kitchen floors. But all that came to an abrupt halt when he fell for Do star Lisa Armstrong on the 1994 Smash Hits tour. PJ and Duncan star at, then 18 said he was instantly attracted to 17-year-old singer Lisa and by the end of the tour, they were deeply in love. In a rare interview with The Mirror, makeup artist Lisa admitted his good looks made her feel all gooey. I've always felt relaxed with him, she said in 2006, ahead of their wedding. And when we met there was something about his hair and eyes that made me feel all gooey. I met the love of my life, Lisa Armstrong, and gushed in his autobiography, ooh, what a lovely pair. Lisa was the most amazing thing that ever happened to me. She was beautiful, she had a great sense of fun, and she was different from any girl I'd ever met. Their home in Chiswick, London, became the HQ for their glitzy circle including Holly Willoughby. Christine and Frank Lampard and of course, Declan Donnelly. Famed for their love of a good and ease up, the couple's pad was apparently dubbed the party house by their inner posse. That kitchen had more drinking done in it than most pubs in London, and admitted. So much so that we nicknamed it the Vortex because once you got in there, time stood still. Wed get back from the pub at closing time. Next thing you know it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But despite Anne's increasing success, he and Lisa are said to have lived a humble life, chatting on the sofa with cups of tea, cleaning the house and holidaying to New York every new year. After 11 years, Aunt Aunt finally popped the question with a £16,000 square cut diamond ring from Tiffany in Dubai in 2005. They married 14 months later in a star studded ceremony at Cliveden Country House Hotel, Buckinghamshire. Then, after denying Lisa was pregnant, in 2010 Aunt announced they'd started trying for a baby. He said at the time, Webb wanted children for a while, but we're both busy. We're on a break now, the first proper one for 15 years. So Lisa and I are trying for a baby. Well, we've been trying for a little while so fingers crossed. Sadly it didn't happen and three years later, Ant said he feared their age was against them. On top of the strain so often caused by fertility struggles, in 2014 Ant suffered a torn meniscus in his knee which left him immobile and in near constant agony. For two years the severely depressed star abused opioids and booze. But things came to a head when he begged Lisa to get him to hospital after an insane binge of tramadol, morphine and alcohol following a second knee operation. He told the son, it was 5 in the morning and I was screaming in pain so I rang Lisa. She was upstairs because I was living in the living room because I couldn't get around. I was insane. It sends you crazy. It was to the point of hearing things, seeing things in the garden and still the pain was getting worse. Despite admitting Head put Lisa through hell with his mood swings, while his loyal wife stood resolutely by him, Aunt refused to move back in with her after rehab.
she kept her wedding ring on and publicly dismissed rumors they were estranged while pals from Ant's camp accused the former disco dancer of being in denial. Then in January 2018 Ant released a solo statement confirming he'd left Lisa, and six months later he stepped out with their former PA, Anne-Marie. Lisa was devastated and hit out on Twitter, accusing her former friend of breaking the girl code. And as her divorce from Ant grew increasingly messy, he revealed they'd cut all contact and were only communicating through their lawyers. Aunt and Anne-Marie tied the knot at St. Michael's Church in Hampshire in August 2021, and the marriage made Aunt a stepdad to two girls. The Geordie TV star credited Anne-Marie with being the fundamental reason for the great change in my life following his drink-driving charge in 2018. He told The Sun, she's been my rock. She's a beautiful soul. We're very happy. I'm in the best place I've been in my life, to be honest with you. It's great, 